Hello, it's Mark from MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and WinningSolutionsInc.com. And today I'd like to show you one of our new database templates. It is called the uh, Microsoft Access Record File Management Database. And this is a great simple database for keeping track of where files are located. So um, if you were going to find this, if you just saw the video and you wanted to find this database on our website, uh, you'd want to come to MicrosoftAccessExpert.com. And then on the left, you can scroll down here to uh, Database Templates for Purchase. And then from there, uh, you uh, this one is now at the bottom. You could just do a search for it. Uh, or you can simply uh, look down here toward the bottom and see our Access Record File Management Database. So you would just uh, click on that. That will take you to the page that will explain the database to you. But I will be talking to you about it in this video. And then, um, if you think this database might be something useful for you, uh, we would urge you to download the demo. Now, the demo is a full working version, except it doesn't save. So this allows you to get a feeling for how the database will work. Um, this is a database that's designed for a couple of scenarios. One, it's designed for uh, to be integrated into your existing access database, or it's designed for you to use as a building block to build a more robust uh, access database around this. And if uh, you need help doing that, uh, you can uh, contact us through our website and we can give you a quote on providing that service to you. Um, or of course, you could find someone uh, in your area who uh, knows how to program Microsoft Access if that's something that you're not familiar with. And of course, uh, if you're a quick study, you could always uh, take up the subject and get one of the many books on how to uh, develop databases in Microsoft Access and that would get you going. Now, uh, you'll want to make sure that you download the version that pertains to the uh, version of Access that you have installed on your machine. And uh, I'm not going to go through all the details, but uh, once you do download the file, uh, there are some matters uh, dealing with uh, trusted locations and security that you'll need to address. And we've got a separate video on that subject here. So uh, it's just called How to Update Trusted Location Settings in Microsoft Access. And this is on our YouTube page, uh, which you may have found this video on. Uh, but in case you didn't, it's uh, Microsoft, uh, sorry, it's uh, youtube.com slash Microsoft Access Expert. And that will uh, get you to our YouTube page where you can find this or you can just Google um, how to update trusted location settings in Microsoft Access. And that will probably get you there too. Okay, with no further ado, uh, let's get into the database. Uh, and so I've got that uh, running right now. Uh, and so I'll bring that up. And here we go. So uh, what this database does, as its name implies, is it allows you to record the location of where you are storing files and record them in a database. And uh, the, you, know, you can use your imagination to think about how you might apply this tool, but there are many, many powerful uses for it. So the first thing you would do in using this database is um, you can select a category. So uh, this can be any type of file you want. It doesn't have to be just a simple document, as I'll show you in my example, but it could be sp pictures, spreadsheets, spreadsheet video. So if you have a lot of files and you want to maintain a database of where they are located across all your drives, you can do that. Now, this category function can be maintained. So if you don't like these categories, you can go down here to maintain categories and then you can simply uh, add or edit the categories as you see fit from this uh, maintain categories tab. But going back to our main tab here, the first thing um, that you would want to do to uh, add a uh, file to this is uh, select a category and so I'm going to add a document and I want to go find the document so I have a test document right here so I'm going to select that and tell it OK and as you can see it's recorded the path and I can even type in uh, a little description here uh, Alright, and as you can see now that's stored in the database and so you just keep going and going and going until you have hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of uh, files, uh, locations tracked in this database. So uh, with that, that's, that's pretty much it. Again, this is very basic, but rather than having to program all of this yourself, you can simply purchase this template from us, uh, integrate it into your existing database, or build a more comprehensive database around it. And if you need help doing that, uh, you can contact us through our website at winningsolutionsinc.com 
or MicrosoftAccessExpert.com and we can give you a quote on uh, doing the enhancements. You'll also find on our YouTube channel that there's a uh, video that describes how to explain uh, what you want changed or enhanced in the database. And so if you watch that video then you'll know the information that you need to send us in order to give you an accurate quote. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for visiting our page. Um, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up and uh, have a great day.